Hey, hey, happy Friday afternoon, evening, whatever it is for you today. It's good to see everyone. I am just talking to you today about my awesome garage sale haul today. I love Friday garage sailing. Um, a lot of people kind of trickle in here, share with your friends, share with your followers. I'm going to show you a couple of goodies that I found today and also to let you know that you can make a lot of money garage sailing if you do research ahead of time, you look at what's out there, and you just scan and move, scan and move. Um, I'm going to show you what I found to sell on Amazon and a couple of things I might do eBay, but they're really not bad. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I got here, what I paid for them, and then the prices and things like that just for fun, just so you can see kind of what's out there and see mm -hmm. the garage sailing is not dead thrifting is not dead it actually still is worth money to go out and garage sale and hustle and do a little fun my daughter hung out with me today we just kind of bounced around as some subdivision sales and I kind of hit the mother load today I'm kind of excited about some of the stuff I found so I want to show you now before I'm going to do a little disclaimer before we get into it right so make sure you're sharing with friends and followers thanks for the hearts and everything oh and for those of you guys that don't know me if you're just joining in and you've never met me you've never been on here before I'd love to say your comment and say hey I'm a first timer I'm Kristen Ostrander founder and co-author of mommyincome.com we teach moms how to make money from home we also teach stay-at-home dads and people with side hustles anybody's qualified right so it doesn't really matter you're learning how to uh, earn money online here at mommy income and so today I'm going to show you some of the stuff I found at garage sales all day today while well, I went from 9 30 until about 2 um, stopped for lunch for about 40 minutes or so my daughter came with me we we're hanging out doing some fun stuff so we are going to I'm going to show you some of the goodies that I found and I would love I'm a hundred timer <laughs> great it's good to see you um so, hi, it's good to see everyone today here, and I know it's, it's Periscope's been a little bit of wonky, so make sure you go into your profile, and you make sure that you're following the people that you want to follow, because a lot of times, um, for some reason, I went in to follow somebody, and it said I was un I unfollowed somebody, so I was really sad, because I was like, I'm not getting notifications for so-and-so anymore, I realized I must have accidentally hit the unfollow, so anyway, there's that. All right, let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to tell you, I use Scoutify, which comes with Inventory Lab, that's the scanning app that I use, and then what I'm going to be showing you here on my computer dashboard is um, the inventory lab. It basically looks like Scoutify on your phone, only it's for the computer because it's easier for me to show you while I'm on my phone to show you what I have here in um, Scoutify. So this shows you the FBA price, and I'm going to put in my price for what I paid for it, and you guys will see kind of the profit. This gets a little wonky, so sorry that the visual is going to be all over the place, but um, hopefully you guys will be able to see. So without further ado, somebody keep a math calculator. I might keep a calculator for me of like profits from this stuff, right? This is pretty awesome. So all right. All right, I'll show you. Okay, so this is the interface that we're using here. This is a dashboard for Inventory Lab. And so up here in this box, I'm going to enter. And I'm just scanning in some of the stuff that I found. Um, so this is, it'll come up here. This is in the book category. It's Health and Free Curriculum, A Journey to Wellness for Your Body. So this is seller, best sellers rank. It's in the book category. It tells you that right here. That it tells you the sales rank is 565000 So, you know, you're not going to turn and burn this in, th in, in five minutes. But, you know, it shows you the different fees and stuff like this. And here's where it shows you the used, like new, brand new. This is used, like new. All the materials are here. So this is what it looks like in case you're wondering. And it's all almost brand new in the box. There's no writing. There's no anything. The DVDs are all there. I checked them all. And I paid $10 for this. So I'm going to pick the used like new price. And for $10, that's what we're going to make off this right there. Oh, $50.44 is about the net profit. Let's keep a running total just to see. Because I've been told that grow that... Uh, one-offs and garage sale items just aren't worth your time and energy and I'm kind of here to prove the haters all wrong so even if it's just this one thing ten dollars I spent all right you ready for number two anybody recognize this you know who this is by before I even show you anyone come on before I flip it over and scan it do you guys know what this is okay I'll show you now Oh, it would help if I actually got in the right box here. This is Musicology. Now, I'm not a big fan of that picture right there, but this is a Prince CD. Prince that just recently passed away. This is 11,000 in music. Um, 
and this was one dollar so if you go to the used up here you'll see the used price even non fba is 43 dollars and some change and that brings our net profit to 33 dollars and 44 cents so let's add that up over here why not 33 plus 45 Let's keep that running total. Oh, so far I'm in the profit of $83.45, not too bad. So there's just another thing that's number two. This is another thing I found today. This is a box set of Britney Spears singles. So we'll scan this and see what this says. Yeah, I, this has been a fun day. Oh, come on. Children in background. Oh, there it is. Okay. Britney Spears' Singles Collection, not a bad rank. So if you're thinking in music, you don't know what the rank is, you can go down here, and I'm going to go to this button here, which is Camel, so that we can kind of see this Camel, 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 and it's going to show you the ranking of this and see what this is. Because what is a ranking in music? If you don't really know, that's not too bad. So I'm going to sort by month. This is Camel, Camel, Camel. It tells me the ranking. So even by month, not doing too well by month. So let's do by three months. See, I'm happy with that. Oh, these little ticks here showing how, about how many times it's selling here and there. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the sales of this item, even if it seems like a high rank at 176000 Hasn't had too many sales. This is probably because this is out of print and not available. So I'm a big fan of this, considering this is the used price for average condition and this is um, a pretty good condition all the CDs are here what product this is Britney Spears the singles collection um, boxed CD set garage sale price was I thought it was a little bit pricey for garage sale but then again this was probably a hundred dollars new we're gonna pick this price here and that's an $83 profit at the lowest price, zero FBA offers. And the highest price, brand new, is almost $400. Bucks, $350. Sorry, I guess that's not almost $400. So this is in very good condition. I'm going to probably just match the low price because why not? Because look at that profit, $8304. So let's add that to this. And we'll just keep adding it up. So far, we're at $166.49 profit and what, four items? Today was a good day at garage, in garage sale heaven. What did I pay? I paid $15 for that. So look, if you see here, you'll see price per unit. I put in $15 and the list price is $121. My profit's going to be $83. Bucks. That is 553% return on investment. I am a big, huge fan of that kind of ROI. Okay, the next one I want to show you, I already looked up in uh, on Amazon because it doesn't have a barcode. This was pretty special. This is a huge... Christina Aguilera Bionic Fan Edition. It's got a vinyl in here and a, a book and CD. And this is like in mint condition. I guess you could only get this in the fan club back in the day. It's a little bit older. Doesn't have any sort of barcode. So I used Amazon Flow to look this up. But I'll show you what it looks like on here. Here it is right here. This is the Bionic Fan Edition Box Set Special Limited Edition used from $210. That's what it looks like inside. It's got all the vinyl. It's got the CDs and the book. And this might take a while to sell, probably. It's not in high demand. But then when you go back and you look at the camel, camel, camel for this, um, when you look at this chart here, it doesn't say there's too many sales. But, you know, if you go to sales rank, you, you go all the way down. Oh, sorry. I guess I got to return to the product info. You look at the sales rank on this. It's not too bad. 78000 for sales rank for this item. $210. I'll take that all day long. So we'll put it in here just to show us what we can do with this. Uh-oh. Let's see if it comes up here. There it is. Christina Aguilera Bionic Fan Edition. Christina Aguilera rank 78. This one I paid 15 bucks for. Same garage sale I went to before. Used like new, 200 bucks. So even if I sell it for even less than that, that's used like new. Even if I went to 200, it's still an excellent profit. I like to go lower just for fun. This is $151.78. So one fifty one point seventy eight. Whoop. 
four equals wow so far that's a great day um yeah so 78,000 in rank if you go to camel 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 it might may or may not show you what that looks like they don't have a whole lot of sales data for this one but there it is in the last month really hasn't sold but in three months there was a couple sales there so I'm happy with that I feel like this is gonna sell within a couple months which I'm totally fine with um, and so there's that product what else we have we have Britney Spears Femme Fatale, I don't even know what this is. It comes with a vinyl and a CD and a book. It's like barely been cracked. The CD's never even been taken out. It's just in there. I don't know if you can see it peeping out the top. And it's got the vinyl in there. So this one doesn't have a barcode either. So I looked this one up here. And here it is, Britney Spears. Oh no, that was the single one. Here it is right here. I found it on eBay selling for eighty dollars now this one is here it is on amazon now, i wasn't impressed with um this one on amazon because it doesn't look like it has any sort of sales data or anything doesn't know if it ever has sold um seven million in sales rank so i looked this one up on ebay so i put it i copy it from here and i put it into inventory lab for the asin and then this is where I can access all my hot buttons down here. So you can see, you can look it up on eBay, Google, Camel, Keepa, Amazon Prime. So this one does not have a good sales rank in Amazon. It doesn't look like it really ever sells or maybe it's just recently for sale. That's why we go to Camel and we look at it there. So it opens up in Camel and it says not no database yet. So this is either too new or it doesn't sell. So I hit the eBay button over here and then the eBay brings me up to here's the sold listings for this item on eBay so it's selling for eighty dollars in recent times it sold April 20th it sold April 11th it sold March 20th. so this is selling about once a month or so for about eighty dollars and um, so I'm happy with that I paid 15 so minus a little bit of fees we'll call that profit 50 bucks just for a good round number because I can't exactly estimate it at this moment so we're still at 562 and that's just a few products here so I showed you one, two, three, four, was it four or five different products? And a garage sailing is not dead. Um, you know, you gotta go hunting and looking. I've got so many more things here. That, you know, this is another CD set. This was two bucks. Um, you just keep going and looking and seeing what's out there. Yeah, this isn't huge profits, but money's money, right? Doesn't look like there's too many offers here. Even at 12 bucks, very good condition. I spent about $180 today at garage sales, and I'll show you the rest of the stuff. I'm not going to show you every single thing that I got there. So yeah, even with that, I'm still net profiting $238, 238%, getting about $477 back. So it just keeps going and going. So I'm going to flip you around here. I'm going to show you kind of my, this is my haul for the day. Um, you'll see all kinds of different products I got. Another CD set, there's some board games, there's tons more books that paid about a dollar for, maybe, sometimes they're a quarter. A couple of them, my one lady was selling for a quarter. Baby powder, seriously, brand new, not expired, this was 25 cents. Sells for $8.99 because it's a special soothing kind. I don't know, who cares? I'm a widget seller, right? You know, this is brand new, like new. These are new, this is all brand new, there's makeup, there's this stuff. I mean, we don't discriminate people. We just like profit. These are selling for about $25 a piece. Um, these were five bucks and I got three sets of them. So just, this is almost all brand new stuff. New in the package, you know, nothing necessarily to write home about, but I actually like garage sailing. It's fun to me. Um, and so I just pick up all this good stuff. I spent less than that. My favorite thing today though, was this. I'll show you this piece of paper that I found. This is the receipt for today. I found some gold at a garage sale and I wasn't 100% sure it was real, but I read the tags and it said um, 14K and so I took a chance on them. I mean, I wasn't 100% sure. Sometimes they're marked and they're not the greatest, but this was today, May the 20th. I bought these at a garage sale. I don't know if you can see that. And I went to Gold City and I got 163 bucks for the three or four chains that I bought. A couple of them ended up not being real, 
but I only spent 60 bucks. They were $10 a chain, about six chains, and a couple of them weren't real. And then I sold them to the We Buy Gold place, Gold City, whatever. Gold City LLC today, today's date, 520. And made $100 off of that purchase. So that was a great day. I feel like I had a really super profitable day and I didn't even show you half the stuff I bought. So we already made, just on the stuff I showed you, $368.23 and then I have a whole pile, you saw all my goodies back there, of all that kind of stuff. Plus, I got $103 profit on gold. A couple of the chains I have here that I bought, like, weren't weren't worth it. This one was marked. This is actually sterling. He told me it was sterling silver. It's marked 925. And so he's like, it's not really worth anything, but it is um, sterling silver. It's just gold-toned sterling silver. And then there was a couple of pendants on there um, that really weren't worth anything, but I didn't care because I made $103 off of the gold that I bought. And my daughter was like, mom, I can't believe you did that. She's like, you know, it was risky because I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Sometimes things are marked and they're marked plated or something. And it was kind of dark in the garage and I couldn't really see, but I was willing to take a chance because I've done that before. Um, so keep your eye out for real gold jewelry while you're out and about, because this lady was just, selling all her jewelry and her chains and things like that. She had some decent watches. I don't do watches unless they're brand new. Um, yes, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. I garage sale. I go to retail stores. A couple of these things I got from retail stores today. I stopped at Rite Aid uh, while I was using the bathroom and hit their clearance section. I got a couple of things at Rite Aid, their clearance. And yeah, I sell them for a lot of money on Amazon. I'd make my full time living this way. This is just fun. I go to yard sales about once a week um, when they're really when it's really nice out. And in Michigan, that's like May, June. I don't always go in July. It's so hot. August is kind of hot. But I like garage selling. I do because I just find it fun and interesting to find different treasures like this. I also buy things at retail stores and uh, wholesale and make bundles and sell them on Amazon. I also hire out my eBay, so if anything was eBay worthy, I'm just going to give that to my eBay lady and she will list it and we'll share profits and it's all good. So I don't even have to do all that shipping and listing and picture taking and all that. So I'm just here to encourage you that garage sales are not dead. Everyone thinks, oh, everybody sells stuff on Amazon and eBay now and there's not going to be anything left for me. Not true at all. Some people just want to get rid of their stuff just like they did today and they really don't care. Um that you're making money out of it. What's the biggest profit I've ever made? Oh gosh, I don't really know. Um, I got a book set, uh, that I made $600 off of one time that that's about the best thing that I can remember. And that was an eBay, um, sale, uh, that I got. I bought it actually off Craigslist and sold it on eBay for $600. It was like a leather back, uh, full set of Agatha Christie, like, was it Franklin Mint or something that made it? I don't know. That's, like, I think probably one of my biggest individual scores. Um, I'm probably forgetting something. I've been doing eBay for almost 13 years now, so I probably have forgotten some of the big dogs. I feel like I've made $1,000 on something once. I just can't remember. But, yeah, I've been doing this a long time, but now with the smartphones and scanners, you can just scan stuff and, like, all this stuff. I just scanned barcodes at garage sales, and half the time I don't even wheel and deal. I just literally, unless I really need a deal on something, I mean... This Christina Aguilera thing, it was $15. I'm going to make $200. It's almost rude to be like, can I get this for $10? <laughs> I mean, I do it sometimes because why not haggle? But at the same time, people are willing to deal with it. I've also left my name and phone number at a couple different garage sales today saying, hey, when your sale's all done, if you're willing to get rid of all these books or all these CDs in bulk, and I say when I say in bulk, I mean for really cheap, um, and make a little bit of money off of them. Give me a call. I'll come sweep them up on Saturday afternoon and, you know, give me a good price. Cause the one lady's like, Oh, this stuff's just all going to go to the goodwill. And I'm thinking I'm the goodwill right here. I'll give you 20 bucks for all of it. And I'll take all your books home. And then I'll make way more than that without scanning. One of these ladies had hundreds of books and I didn't want to spend that much time scanning everything. I kind of cherry picked for a while. And then I was like, okay, I'm leaving, but here's my number. It works if you're willing to just put yourself out there. So it's, uh, it, it feels a little strange, yes, to scan at garage sales, but I have a piece of Velcro on the back of my phone and I use a scan fob and it's very um, discreet. So I put the scan fob on the back of my phone. It has Velcro on it and I have Velcro on the scan fob and I use that and it's just very discreet. I have my phone in my hand, but it literally is like single-handed 
scanning and it's not like the camera phone and all that stuff so it really makes it easy can you see my scan file you know what you could if I had it with me um, I don't have my scan fob on me at the moment. It's charging in my vehicle. Um, but it's just about, it's about this big and it's, um, I put it on the back of my phone. If you want to know how I use a scan fob, you can go to my YouTube channel. Um, you can go to the Mommy Income YouTube channel and I, there's a video on there of how to use a scan fob and I show you how to, how I do it on the video. So go to the video. It's kind of old, but it shows you kind of what to do, um, Someone else asked, just asked another question. Oh, you get a, a how do you get a scan fob? You go to mommyincome.com slash scan fob and you can buy one directly from there. They're like $280. There are cheaper models. You can buy them on eBay, but they guarantee it, I think, for a year if you buy it through them. Up to you. Mine's lasted for a really, really long time. There's also newer versions. You can get them for like $100, $150. The KDC, you can go to mommyincome.com slash KDC and buy one from there as well. Um... There's the, the scan fob model. There's the, the link right there. Thanks, Amy. And then the um, the other one. Get one at a garage sale. <laughs> I wish. If I saw one, I'd probably buy one. My daughter has one. I have one employee that has one. My mom is my business partner. She has one. Um, we have four scan fobs, I think, all together. And it just makes it so discreet um, to be able to scan just like with the phone. And I have it in my hand like this and it's just underneath. I press the button and you know, no one really sees me scanning and it doesn't beep and it doesn't, um, you know, do anything like that. So I don't, it's not a hundred percent my business model to be on garage sailing, but this is what I do do like once a week now that it's nice out last two weeks ago. Um, I made over $1,100 in profit by garage sailing for five hours five or six hours. Uh, I go from like 9 a.m. until I have to pick up my daughter at like uh, three. Yeah, the, the scan fob scans all the UPC codes that you see. So, you know, the UPC code that's on here, it scans it into the, the um, program that I use, which is called Scoutify, but you can also scan barcodes through the Amazon seller app, which is free if you have a seller's account. Um, and it tells you, you know, like what I was showing you on here. It like all this stuff, it shows you all that. And, um, yeah, it's great. So yeah, Amy and I, I thank you, Amy, for posting all those, you know, links and stuff like that. That's, uh, that's just what I do for a living. I love this stuff. I garage sale and then I'm going to like list and ship all these on Monday and it won't take me very long to do all that. And I have my normal regular shipment of stuff. So I love this stuff. We teach this stuff at mommyincome.com. Um, we have coaching programs. We teach people how to sell stuff on Amazon and make money from home in different ways. And I'm just trying to encourage you that this stuff is not dead. A lot of people think, oh, everybody does that anymore. So everybody knows what their stuff is worth. And if I can find a Prince CD for a dollar a month after he passes away, uh, not everybody knows what they have and what they're listing. And some people just don't give a rip. That's why I have a whole pile of stuff right there. It's going to make me a whole pile of money. And if I, and I can make that money in one day and it's not even one day, it's like a quarter of a day and I really enjoy it. So it's like not even like work. Like I got to go out to breakfast today and then I hung out with my daughter did some scanning we went out to lunch we had and we went to a bake sale and this one church rummage sale or whatever they had a bake sale so got a couple of cake pops and made some money and had a great day and I was home by three o'clock actually it was home by 3 30 2 30 because I had to be on a conference call for a little bit today so who, who doesn't want to do that? And it's fun. You can take your kids with you if you want. You could leave them at home if you want. Um, if they're at school, whatever it is. And some people only do it on Saturday. I might go back out tomorrow morning um, because there's a ton of subdivision sales. So that's one thing I would suggest you look for. Go to um, Craigslist and look at for subdivision sales or sub sales or community sales, rummage sales, somewhere where there's going to be a lot of stuff. It makes it so much worth it. Uh, today we went to like three different subdivisions that had sales today and they're continuing in through tomorrow. Most people participate on Saturday, but in here in Michigan, a lot of people do Thursday, Friday, Saturday garage sales. So there's lots of stuff to that. I didn't even get to everything today. So I might go back out tomorrow just cause I like to, and I get, you know, my daughter bought a brand new purse, three brand new pairs of shorts and some sunglasses today for less than 20 bucks. Um, you know, and she's happy with that because she can spend more and whatever else. I don't know. It's not for everybody, but it surely is for me because who doesn't like profit, right? So get out there, do some garage sailing. If you're not in the Mommy Income Facebook group, we'd love to have you as part of our Facebook group. Go to mommyincome.com slash join us or facebook.com slash uh, mommy income and 
come and say hi to us and show us your garage sale finds. Why? Because this is not something someone else is going to find. No one else is going to find this Britney Spears, whatever, you know, unless they're specifically looking for it. I mean, it was just like, that's just kind of one-offs, but there's so much money. You can't just leave it behind. So um, just post your garage sale finds. Why not be proud of the money that you're making and be excited about it? So happy Friday evening, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, whether you're working, whether you're playing, whether you're doing whatever. My battery is going to die because I've been scanning all day and Periscope eats up a lot of battery. So make sure you follow me um, and get, get on my email because you may not, um, if Periscope goes away for some reason, how are you going to find me if you're not on the email list? So make sure you go to mommyincome.com and you sign up for our email list because we want to be able to have you and know you and communicate with you if you, um, if Periscope goes away for some reason. So make sure you're on an email list. Don't forget to give me hearts on the replay again. Kristen Ostrander, come to me with any questions that you have. I'd love to answer them. Come join our Facebook group. And besides that, have a wonderful, amazing weekend. Take care, you guys.